Hey, Charles. What up? Did you know that the Secret Service isn't allowed to yell get down anymore? Oh, God, why? They actually have to yell Donald Duck now. <laughs> and good morning everybody this is mike with mornings with mike i am joined by my right hand man now he has been graduated to the left from the right or from the from the right to the left whatever he's he he's the right hand man now charles moats charles how you doing today uh you know another day another dollar another year another smile Another oh god year. we've been doing this too long <laughs> <laughs> well it is 2019 uh we are almost to march uh actually so march madness so that means uh we we, we got spring break coming we have house parties coming we have concerts coming we have baseball coming and we have blast from the past coming oh god charles is like michael where are you going with this well, Charles, I got story time for you guys. Story Gather around, time. children. Put on, put up, put on your headphones because shit's about to get deep. <laughs> Don't you mean my rain boots? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it's 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 not that deep. It's just you know, it's it's a it's a little it's a little above the toes. It's uh, it's not quite elephant shit. It's more like dog shit. Ooh. Like you step in, it kind of squeezes up through the big from that big toe there. <laughs> It's still warm. It's like, ooh, what was that? You're like, oh, shit, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say shit, I think of Billy, Billy, the Mad, the Mad, part. He's, 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 like, he's like, he called the shit poo. He <laughs> called the shit poo. <laughs> There's one of those flaming bags again, Billy, or whatever that fucking girl's name is. Don't put it out with your boot, Ted. <laughs> Don't tell me the new devil woman. <laughs> So, speaking of devil women, that was a perfect transition, Charles, and I didn't even tell you what we're talking about. We are talking about my college life, man. Oh, gosh. So, the, uh, about, a, about a month ago now, I went back home for our family Christmas. So, my family doesn't really celebrate Christmas on Christmas because we're all married. We've all, ex like, expanded out. So, we all meet in a centralized low location. You know, my aunts, my uncles, grandmas. Mom, dad, sisters, cousins, etc. That there's about thirty of us, right? So, we are we 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 we, we actually went to Can Kansas City for the weekend. We played at a, stay, stay, stay at a place called C Coco Keys, a very fun water park resort okay. thing. It's 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 a it's a great time. I definitely highly recommend it if you are in the Kansas City area. Not getting paid to promote. Just no. throwing that out there. Yeah, no, we're not at, like at all. Uh, speaking of per per motion, if you guys could share this with a couple friends, um, it would be highly highly appreciated. Uh, subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. Mornings mornings with Mike. We're on iHeart, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast, uh, Spreaker, Breaker, uh, Castbox as well. Um, but Charles, when I was back home the other day, uh, I say home like on the family trip. We were at the at the water park, and we were set. We were sitting at the bar, getting some drinks, having a good time. You know, like my uncles are start starting to get up, starting to get like a little lit. So things are start starting to have a good time. You know, <laughs> whatever. If you guys know my family at all, um, we have been known to party in the hotel parking lot till 7 a.m. Uh, great, great times until grandma comes and said, "Hey, it's time for breakfast," and we're still drunk as fuck. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, so bad times, actually great, really good times. Um, that same weekend, my uncle passed up standing, standing up. Passed out, stand up, just yeah. drop. Yeah, wow. uh, he, he, my dad, it was his 50th birthday. My dad made him a, a gallon of Long Island iced, like, like, like iced tea, like a gallon water jug, you know. Mm -hmm. He was sipping on it, and he just stand there with the straw in the thing, having a grand old time. You, you see his eyes roll back. He leans up. And that's the wall. Passed out for a solid two hours. We left him there. He woke back up, started talking like the conversation never stopped. The weirdest fucking thing in the world. <laughs> very, very awkward. So, this gets me to the point here. Uh, back in back in college, we used to uh, 
me and my roommates, we like like we've all been friends since we're like five or six, six eight years old. Uh, so we all knew kind of how how each other operated. So we would go to the bars and have aliases. <laughs> so um, my alias was Seth, Seth Gay, uh, because I was I was severely gay. So my parents called me Seth, S E F. Like that was my alias from the time I was like 16 till I was about 25, 26 years, six, six eight years old. Uh, the reason why I'm telling, tell, telling you this, Charles, was because when we were at Coco Keys last month, a a girl walked up to me, and she kept looking at me weird, and like, she, and she just, she's like, "Do I know you?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No," like you know, like. Like I, like I like I haven't lived in Kansas for five or six five or six years, you know. Like maybe I just remind you of like some of like of like somebody, right? So we're having a few like a few beers, and this girl kept looking at me weird, like shh, like, and like now my fucking well, I'm like, fuck, do I know know all this girl right? Like, do I have to worry about a child support? Payment? Right, right, What's right. Going on? <laughs> so and shh, you know. So like all the kids, they go back up to they go back up to the ho- to, to the hotel room and like hang out, and we all go to the, to to the bar and have a good time. And this woman's at the bar, and like uh, you know, we're all like you know at this point we've all been drinking since since, since about two o'clock in the afternoon. It's it's eleven o'clock at night. We're we're getting pretty lit, right? Yeah. And this. And this girl, out of like, like, just out of nowhere, she's like, "Seth, Seth, Seth, I fucking, I knew it, I knew it was you, <laughs> Seth." I'm like, "Fuck me, <laughs> I, I had an alias, so you guys wouldn't fucking know who I was, right?" And, and, and my wife, she's all looking at me weird. My mom's looking at, looking at me weird, and my uncles are fucking rolling because, like, they fucking know. <laughs> What's up? Because I learned that from them, <laughs> and, and 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 uh, and like, and my my mom is fucking hammered drunk, and like, uh, she like, who the fuck is Seth? I'm, I'm like, mom, like, I don't know, like, like this girl just just like must be drunk. You got, I got yada yada yada. She pulls up a fucking picture of us, man, from like 2007, and she has me tagged on her Instagram. This is Seth Gay. Like, <laughs> and like, uh, she's like, I've been looking at you for like ever. Like, I've been trying to find you on Facebook, on Twitter, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, oh, because my fucking name's not Seth. There's a reason why I gave you a fucking alias, right? <laughs> so, oh, God. So then my mind starts to like spin up, spin up, spin up, right? Because like, you know, when you look, when you look at a woman, like she has those eyes, like fucking oh, yeah. crazy eyes, right? This woman had the crazy eyes, she, like, like she was just fucking batshit crazy, crazy looking, and like she started talking to me about like all the good times that 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 that, that, that like we had, and I don't re- remember shit. So Mandela effect, <laughs> the Mandela effect, right? If you guys missed that podcast, scroll back down a little bit. Uh, Mid February time frame, Mandela effect, check it out. But long story short, I started thinking, I'm like, fuck. Like, if this girl knows so much about me, like, like what the fuck, right? So, like, I- I'm just sitting there fucking just listening to her. I'm like, shit. Like, my mind is spinning. Like, I can feel Cindy's eye just, like, <laughs> piercing through me. It's like, what the fuck did you do with the woman? What, you, know, you know, like, if for, for you guys that don't know my wife, like, she can whoop some ass. Like, oh, hell yeah. And, like, this, and this, and this girl was getting a little too close for comfort. And I could see her moving a little bit closer, a little bit closer. She put her arm around me, and she's, like, looking at this bitch. She's like, I'm going to fuck that girl up. <laughs> so I, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, where the fuck do I know this woman from? Like, where? I'm like, think, Michael, think. I'm like, I mean, Seth, Seth, think. <laughs> <laughs> so I call my old roommate, Michael King. Me and Michael, this is, this is fucking weird. So his name's Michael. My name is Michael. Guess what his mom's name is? Linda. Guess what his mom, or my mom's name is? Linda. Linda. <laughs> Guess what his grandma's name is? Bonnie. Guess what my grandma's name is? Bonnie. It's fucking weird, right? That's that's the Mandela effect. <laughs> For you. So, so I, so I sent a Snapchat of this girl to, to a, a to a, a King, and, and I'm like, Michael, like, do you know this woman? Like, 
where is she from? And he and he he told me three words: doorstep lady. So as soon as he said that, I'm like, oh motherfucker, it's it's that fucking girl. So this is where the whole this this, this is the whole story of the of the podcast here. But so guys, put on your ears. This is why you need a fucking alias, all right? Grab the popcorn, people. This is why you need a fucking alias. So, me and Michael and Alan and, and like, AJ, you you all go to the bar right across Cross Street every third, every Thursday night. They had wings for 25 cents and 25 cent, cent beers. Can't go wrong. You, you, no. you, get a, you get a full belly and you get shit-ass drunk for 20 bucks. <laughs> so, every Thursday night, we are there. And there was one night, you know, I recently broke up with a lady f- f- friend of mine, and I was like, you know what, I'm going there to pick up a lady tonight, All right? Well, guys, Monday through Thursday, the bar doesn't have the best s- s- selections. This is this is the this is the advice I'm telling you from my mama. My my mama gave me some great advice. She she says stick to, better stick, stick to anal, and then she says. Monday through Thursday, you 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 cannot be picky of the type of women that you choose, because they don't really go out Monday through th- Thursday. You, if you want a piece of ass, just get whoever comes up first, pound it and leave it, hit it and forget it. As she, like 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 as you said, and then Friday and Saturday, that is when you have to you go out to the prime rib. So Monday through Thursday, you're eating ramen noodles and hamburger help, hey, hamburger helper, Thursday. Thursday and Friday, you do like you have some T-bone steak. <laughs> so and Sundays for church, got it? Got right, it, 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 it's exactly. Guys, get get right, right, write that down. Monday through Thursday, you have ramen noodles and hamburger helper. Struggle meals. You you get what you can get. Thursday and Friday, T-bone hey, steak Dave. time. T-bone steak. Flaunt it like you got it because we only get paid once. <laughs> so back to the story here. It is a Thursday night. This is the Thursday night that we decided to close down the bar. So, 25 cent beer night, and we closed down the bar. We get there about 6 o'clock, and in Kansas bars closes at like 2. We are shit-faced. When I say shit-faced, like, I called, I called my mom for a ride to walk across the street to my house. That's how fucking drunk I am, like, like, like I am. So, you know... I have whiskey to cap it in. So this, like this, like this, this girl was eyeballing me all night. And she's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. Uh, I gave her my alias, Seth, because that's what we do. People that at the bar didn't even know my, didn't even know our, <laughs> didn't even know our real, real names. Uh, so like, 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 hey, I'm Seth. Nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 yada, yeah, yada, yada. We start buying each buying each other drinks we're playing pool we're having a grand old time long story short she comes back to the house we have a good time she leaves we go we go we go a better day right that saturday night we're going to a house party somehow some 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 way this woman finds out we're at the house party she shows up and we're playing pong we're like 22 22 years old so like we're playing pong having a grand old time she walks up to me he's like are you going to kiss me or what (laughs) (laughs) you like you you've heard that song right shut up and kiss me yeah like i can't even think of it but like shut up and kiss me well and i look at her i'm like (laughs) nope i still i still still kept playing beer pong i felt those eyes pierce through me and she storms off right i'm like great having a grand old time having some beer pong you know having a grand old house house party we we start walking home we get home this girl is sitting on my doorstep at my house (laughs) waiting for us to get home and she like i've been waiting waiting on you (laughs) seth like dude she was on our doorstep Every Saturday for a month and a half straight. What the hell? Restraining order. Fucking weird, right? Restraining order. Motherfucking weird. So we move like you know six weeks, six weeks, six weeks like after that. And 
best thing that ever happened to me in my life was moving from that house. <laughs> does, does it make you wonder though, for like those six weeks, like after you moved and everything, like was she still showing up every Saturday? Yeah, I, 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 I actually kind of wonder that. Like, <laughs> like, wouldn't that bad be weird? Like, if like some like girls like came 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 to the house, just like, where's Seth? Who the fuck is Seth? <laughs> or or what if the girls that moved in? One of her boyfriend's names was Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucked up? Somebody got stabbed. I can see it now. But yeah, guys. So this is this is an advice show for today. When you are in college, don't mess with crazy. <laughs> well, well, you can meet crazy chicks as they give you the best sex. Let's let's be honest. Do. But use an alias. Wrap that monkey. <laughs> stick the anal. Monday through Thursday, slim pickings. You know, I like a lot of good-looking girls aren't 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 out. Stick Drop with your standards. That's s- the one. Stick with the hamburger helper ramen. Thursday and Friday, got to the prime ribs, baby. Prime ribs. Oh yeah. And if all else fails, cougarlife.com. <laughs> Bitch, please watch out for that.